Is the nation simply an idea? Of course it is. But the real question is, does that idea have any legitimacy? This video sets out the case that the UK is a legitimate nation formed of a people with a rich history and delineated by geography. Great Britain has a natural border formed by the sea, unlike so many Eurasian nations. There is no evidence that the Celts invaded, but nonetheless, Celtic culture replaced Bronze Age culture by 0 BC. The Romans then invaded what they called Britannia in 43 AD and built roads, towns and forts. Later on, Christianity spread. Anglo-Saxon invaders conquered the Romano-Brits in the 5th century AD and set up disunited kingdoms. Today, 40% of Brits' DNA is Anglo-Saxon. Vikings conquered all English kingdoms then, except Wessex. <laughs> whose king, Alfred the Great, founded a dynasty that unified England by 927 AD. In 1066, Normans, under William the Conqueror, took over. They spoke Old French. Today this means that 30% of English words are of Old French origin. The UK has almost uniquely known no foreign invasion for a millennia, which makes its people close-knit. The Kingdom of Scotland then formed increasingly close trading and cultural relationships with the Kingdom of England, which culminated in a grand unifying of crowns when the Scottish King James VI became King of England too after Queen Elizabeth's death. Wales was taken by the Normans too. In Ireland, Norman lords took over a chunk of its east, and in the 1500s, the English crown took over there. The crown evicted Catholic Irish from farms and resettled Protestant Brits there, who dominated in the north. The Acts of Union, 1707 and 1801, then unified the Scottish and Irish parliaments into Westminster, and it was around then that British colonies were set up, which introduced modern laws and ways of thinking to Asia, Africa and America. Back then, conquest was the norm, and might made right. The English were fairly benevolent governors compared to native kingdoms, and by the 20th century, the empire had started beating those three dreadful horsemen, war, famine and plague. Irish Catholic nationalism caused by a narrative of British Protestant oppression, grew very strong by 1914, and after a revolution, our kingdom was renamed the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland in 1927, with the Protestant North remaining loyal. Today, despite two world wars and the loss of her empire, the UK is in the G7, it sits on the UN Security Council, and has a very high standard of living. Brits can be proud of their distinct island history and look to the future with confidence.